Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome back to Wix Wiz. This is the first video in a new series about building data-driven websites with Wix. Whether you're building the simplest of landing pages or an advanced web app, you will want to know how to utilize Wix collections and data sets to power your website with data. In this first video, I'll be showing you the basics of adding a data set to a page and connecting Wix elements to it. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to need to do to create a data-driven website is to create a collection. And I have already made some videos about collection creation. So what I'm going to do over here is just head over to the left side where we have the content manager. And I'm going to click over here, start by adding content. After I click that, it will prompt me to create a collection. I'm just going to call this test collection and click create. Now you can see the collection that we created. And this is basically where we are going to store the data that we are going to use to drive our site. I'm going to go ahead and close this because what I actually want to show you is what you see now over here after I've created my first collection. And that is the ability to add content elements to your website. So I'm going to go and click over here, add content element. And we have several options here. And I am going to select data set. And data sets are basically how we link between our collections and our website. And the first thing that we're going to do when we are setting up a data set is go over here to settings. And we are going to choose which collection this data set connects to. So I'm going to go over here and click choose and click test collection. OK, and if I had more collections in my website, you would see them here. And you also have the option to create another collection. Then I can change the data set name if I choose. I can leave the default name that is generated by Wix. Or I can, for example, delete the word collection and just say test data set. Then the next thing that we have is the mode. Today I'm going to be talking about the read only mode, but you should know that there are two other modes that can be used for different purposes on your website. And that is write only and read and write. Today I'm showing you only the read only option. Next we have number of items to display. So in our collections, we can have several items. And again, if you want to learn more about collections, I recommend you check out my video that explains all about Wix collections. And here we can choose the number of items that we want to display from the con collection that will be linked to this data set. So for example, if I was to choose three items here, then this test data set will be linked to three items out of my collection. And we'll see that more when we show how this data set can connect to repeaters. If you only want to connect one item to this data set, then you can just set it to one. By default, this one item will be the top item on the data set, so the most recently input item into the data set. And if you don't want to present that specific item, you can add filters. So if I click here and say add filter, then I can say, for example, the title field or the created date field or the owner field, which are all the default fields that my collection is created with, should be equal to or contain, does not contain, starts with, ends with, is not empty, is empty. And then I can depend this filter on if the uh, a manual entry, so something that I write over here, another data set, or a user input element. And I'll be explaining all those things shortly. Next, we have the sort. So we can decide how we want to sort our data set. So the default sort, as I said, is from newest to oldest. So the most recent item will be at the top of the data set. And that will be displayed if I only have one item selected here. I can add a different sort and, for example, choose to sort by one of these other fields. 
and each field, depending on its type of field, will have a different sort option. So for example, if I select title, then it would be A to Z because our title field is a text field, or I could pick Z to A. Okay, so those are the two directions that I can sort by. I'm not gonna add another sort now. All I wanna do is show you how I would connect this text data set, for example, to my heading one over here. So first of all, I'm going to go into the collection that we created. So I'm going into the test collection and I'm going to create a new item. And inside of the title of this item, I'm going to say my first item. Then I'm gonna close the collection and go to my text box here. In order to link a element in Wix to a test, uh, sorry, to a data set, which mine happens to be called test data set, we use this squiggly connect to data button. If you don't see this connect to data button, you can try to go to dev mode and enable developer mode and turn it off. And then you should see this connect to data button. I'm gonna click the connect to data button and I select a data set to connect to. By default, I already have test data set selected because that's the only data set on the page. But if I had multiple data sets on the page, then I would be able to choose the data set I want to connect to. If you want to disconnect your element from data, then you can just go choose and it will be disconnected from data. If I want to connect it, I select the data set that I want to connect to. And you can see here that my ability to change things within the text change when I select choose or when I select test data set. Then I can choose what this text will connect to. So I'm gonna connect it to the title. And you'll see here now that my content has dynamically changed to the title that I put the, the value of the first title item. Let me rephrase that. The value of the title of the first item in my collection. Okay, now I'm speaking English. Uh, and for example, if I was to go ahead to our collection and I am going to go to collections, test collection, and add another item. And I'm gonna call this my second item and close that. Then you can see that it's changed to my second item. And that is because I had set, uh, sorry, by default, the data set shows the most recent item that is in the collection if you have, if you're only displaying one item. And since the text box can only be linked to one item, it's showing the most recent item. If I wanted to do it differently, then I can go back into settings and go to, for example, sort. So I'm going to add a sort. I'm going to choose the created date field, and I'm going to say old to new instead of new to old. And I'm going to add that sort in, and now it's showing my first item because this is the oldest item. I could also choose to add a filter. So for example, if I go to settings and I add a filter, I can say that the title field should contain the word second. Okay, so I'm choosing manual entry and the word second. So I'm gonna go there and add the filter. And now you can see it says my second item, even though this isn't the oldest item in the data set, it is the only one that fulfills our filter. Okay, so filters take priority over sort. Okay, sort is a general rule and filter is a specific rule. There are obviously more complex things that we can do with sort and filter, but I'm going to leave that for another video. For now, I want to show you how to connect some other items to a data set. Uh, elements, sorry, Wix elements. So for example, here we have an image and I want to connect this to data. So I'm going to go ahead and we already have test data set selected. 
And now we can connect several things regarding the image. So I can connect the image source, which is what image is actually going to be displayed here. And as you can see here now, all of these are grayed out. And that is because I have no fields with our, which are image fields in this collection. And this highlights an important point, which is that each element can be linked to specific types of data, specific types of fields. So a text box can be li linked to a text field, but an image needs to be linked to an image field. And I can directly add a new field from here. I don't need to go back into my collection. So I can go over here and say, add a new field. And I'm going to call this field image. And you can say that, see that it already says that the field type should be image. And that is because I'm trying to link an image over here. And I'm going to click Add. And Alt Text, OK, that's the alternative text that is linked to the image. And that is if you have, for example, a screen reader, or it's very good for SEO to have your alt text connect to something. And we can link that to a text field that is in this collection. So for example, I can link it to the title. And I can do the same for the tooltip. And for images, you can also connect a link. So for example, if I go over here, and I can link this to a field, which would be a URL field. So I don't have that. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new field. And I'm going to say URL. But you can see that my image has not changed. And that's because in my collection, I don't have a different image. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my collection. So collections. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select an image for a second item. And I'm just going to be using some of the Wix um, stock footage. So I'm going to go ahead and select these female friends as the image for my second item. And I'm going to go ahead and select Pompous Grass. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I'm not sure. For my first item. OK. And I'm going to go ahead and close my collection. And now you can see that the image that's being shown here is the same image that is related to this text field of my second item. So the sorting and the filters that I place in the data set will apply to anything that is linked to this data set. Because basically, we're just telling it which item is this data set linked to. And then any element that we link to it will be linked to that same item. And even though, for example, our filter is filtering by title, it doesn't mean that it only applies to title. It imply, applies to the entire item. So if I go ahead and I delete this filter, then this will change. And so will the image, OK, because they're all connected to the same item. And we can do the same for video. So if I want to link my video player, I can do the same. And the video player needs to be linked. For example, the title can be linked to text. And the video source needs to be linked to a URL. So I'm going to click here and select a URL. Now I need to go ahead and find a URL that will be good for this video. So I can just go ahead to YouTube and select a URL. And I'll come back and show you how that works. So naturally, to grab our URL, I will head over to the Wix Wiz channel on YouTube and just scroll down to get the URL to one of the most recent videos. This is a great chance to give you a shout out uh, and thank you for watching the video and ask you to subscribe if you're liking the content that you're seeing on WixWiz so far. And definitely, if you've gotten this far in the video, why not give it a thumbs up and tell me that you want to see more content just like this. Uh, so I copied the URL from YouTube. And now I head back to my website where I'm going to go into the Content Manager Collections and go into my test collection and paste the URL right here under my first item. And you can see here it says all changes saved. So that indicates that my 
collection has been saved and I can see the results of that on my site. And if we go right over here, you can see this video player element is now populated with the YouTube video that is linked to that URL. Not only that, but if I go into preview mode, you can see that this image, which we had set up to link to the video, will go and open that in a new tab once I click on it. Two more things I'd like to show you about the image is the tooltip, which we connected. So you can see that when I hover over it, it says my first item. So that's the tooltip that we connected using data. And if I go here and inspect the page with Chrome developer tools, and I head to elements, which will show me the HTML for this page, I'm just going to right click and inspect specifically this image. You can see here that the alt text is my first item. So you don't have to understand exactly what this is uh, if you're not familiar with HTML, but you should just see that connecting it to data actually did something. And this is what it does. And just know that it's very important for people who either are hard of seeing or uh, if you want to make your website more accessible in general and SEO friendly. So that is all for today. That is how we connect elements to data using Wix no code solution of data sets. I'll just give a brief recap of what we learned today. So we learned about creating a collection and adding a data set to your page, how to select the data set and set up some of the basic settings such as sorting and filtering. We also connected a text box, a Im an image and a video element to our data set. And I will say that almost all the elements in Wix can be connected in some way or another to data. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will have more videos all about data and data-driven websites coming out soon. So I'll see you next time.